In my previous tutorial, I showed us how to use Google Ad interchangeably with uh, the Erdas Imaging Viewer. Now, in this tutorial, we'll be classifying this image, Cardinal Metropolis, using with the help of Google Ad, so that we can be able to see the future very well. Alright, to start that, <coughs> I will. do that I will zoom in to see if as I'm zooming in I'm also seeing what's actually happening here so I'll go to raster classification supervised and signature editor <coughs> I'll create a sample data and I also create a sample data reference that we use for um, accuracy assessment. So now that I know that this portion is built up, I will go to draw into insert geometry. Then I will pick up a polygon for now. So. So, you continue. Do you not check in on the Click on create new signature. You check until the entire image you've covered all the water body there. So this is another water body. I say water body built up area. Okay. But I advised when you want to attain a very good result that you take your time and you do these classes as many as possible. But for this tutorial, I will stop here. Then, what you do next is that you match them together the signature editor gallery. So, you match them together. But I can create just one uh, non name it built up and you delete this ones. So you do same for other futures. Now let's check what this red means. allow network to stream it so you can see that it's uh, a vegetation and the trees okay so we'll go back to our drawing now that we understand what the red particle means we we'll take it as a vegetation so Remove one from here. We look for another red. Mm. Oh. 
Sienna no vegetation. So we inside by digitization. Okay. We add it to this uh, the, what we've been doing. So you go through the entire image and you do some or check out what is here. It's another vegetation. So you pick up your tool, then you add it to the to your so for this one let's end it here too and okay we call it vegetation I will delete this one <coughs> now let's check for what other features okay I can see you here a water body so let's go there so it's camera power can see this is river Kaduna so we could do something like this as I told you earlier on for uh, the entire for maximum accuracy you need to do this thing all over the image to um Sometimes if I normally if I want to get a very high result, sometimes I do it up to 100, 120. I've ever done to 200. So it's not a bad idea. Okay. So just take your time and you go slow, slow. Sometimes I normally use tools like this so that I can cover a long way by just doing like this so it's not necessary you must use polygon at all time the most important thing is the pixels it picks okay <coughs> the pixels and the values it picks up so you're not concerned about the space you occupy so by this, you can see I cover a, light, a very large area. So I will add it. I will add it to the class. It has been added. I told you, just come to create new, add it, and it will be added. Okay. So you can use a cycle if it warrants. So depend on the area you are working on the future in question will determine what tools you should use <coughs> okay let me do this for the last time and then we'll proceed and then be careful so that you don't cross an so here we end this we mean them, call it water wash, water body, and then we delete the rest. So, what's the color of water? Blue, vegetation, green, then built up. Let's give it right. Alright, so from here now, we save this signature. for Kaduna card sick okay like this and then so it's been saved so from here now there are one or two things you would like to do number one you want to do the separability and then the contingency let's run contingency okay let's use this and then let's leave a likelihood 
maximum likelihood so it will process and give us a result so this is the result what is saying is that okay then the first one built up has these lines and uh, no water body crosses it and no vegetation these two did not cross it now this is vegetation 72 no uh, a built up did not cross likewise water body and this is water uh, water body same thing so it's from this result it means it's pretty good so that's one of the things you check from uh, your <coughs> your recognizance and then the work your ability to interpret the uh, reflectance is very important so that's why google Ad plays more uh, vital role here so now let's run the classification if i want to do supervised classification you can either use here or <coughs> you use a raster we come to classification and then supervise and supervise again and in this case we're going to impute a a signature but here when we run from your signature environment you don't need to impute signature all you need to impute is what your output so sorry so let's say okay, card super okay so this is the only thing you need to install and then let's use this and then let's say classify zeros so okay now for this other side you impute your signature where you saved it you go there where did we save it this and then your output why should we save it let's say under cardinal supervisor we can say another supervised supervised uh -huh. supervised one since we have another supervised there so this one let's leave it like this and it's okay so the first one has finished. Alright. <coughs> now let's disconnect Google Earth and give ourselves a full view so that we get to know what we are doing. Alright, let's bring in our Cardinal Supervise. Now let's fit it. So now because of the black background on every lancet imagery, so this is what it end up got. I have to clip it out again on uh, other arches when we are doing final analysis. So now you can see that the red represents what our built up and then the green vegetations. And then the blue water but we can see that we have some water issues down here which will result to like some errors you know different. so by practicing more you will discover that you will improve in time okay so uh, now finally we're going to do a classification Sorry, I said classification. Um, we're going to do uh, accuracy assessment of this uh, classification we just did. So to do that, we come back to Rasta, and then you go to supervise and uh, accuracy assessment. <coughs> so on the accuracy assessment, you go to file, you open it, you bring in the image you just classified. So what image did you just classify? Cut supervised. OK. 
okay it has enter now the next thing you go to edit now on this edit there are two things you need to do but i'm going to show you the two because of this now the first one let's import i have a user defined point which i'm going to use for this classification for this accuracy assessment so you said import user define point okay okay my user define point is in desktop so let me navigate there and this is my user point so I okay but now first of all let me show you how you should type your user point because it gets some a lot of people confused most of the time so let's go to excel all right the first one should be your eastings and northerns or your lat long and then you only have three field first field your x second field your y and the third field your value the value is the class value okay now let's go and check the class value from our classification open up sugar table now let's go down okay our vegetation is class 4 you see so we'll come here and where is vegetation i think this should be vegetation so class 4 we'll drag it class 4 now what about our our build up let's go down build up is class 6 so build up class 6 build up build up class 6 and let's drag it and then this is our water body so what class does our water body fall in our water body is class 7 so basically those are the field you need because if you type let's say you include the class name here the class name as the first uh, as your in your a you will discover that your uh, x value will be zero so you need to type it only x y know the class which coordinators you can first arrange it with, but when you like, maybe starting with the name like built up water body and uh and uh Built up water body that's those are the class name and then uh, your vegetations. So by the time that you are done, or you can type it at the fourth value so that you be able to identify them. Since these are basically three values you will need, okay. So, since that is the case, we will now proceed to our like now that we are done typing we will have to copy the entire of it because you will not see excel on erdos imaging so we will copy it and take it to our a notepad you paste it okay now you just make adjustment okay make adjustment to this sorry Okay, so we're good to go. You will save it on your notepad because you will, if you save it on, you won't be able to save it. So back to Erdas, then to our accuracy assessment. This can go now. Our accuracy assessment. Go to say import user defined and download as the name of mine. So you see this place popped up. Now you go to input preview you can see our x value our y value and then our z value that's the values that's the class values what uh, built up as six and uh, water body seven then vegetation four okay so 
basically these are just the settings so you leave it this way and then you ok now you can see that they've been imported into the coordinates of those your areas have been imported into uh, the point so now the next thing you can see that our reference which is the main purpose where we type these things have not come in so you click here highlight it then you right click come to import now you navigate to that same location carrying uh, that file so it's the last one we just imported so now here you put three because it, it is a third field and you okay so you can see that all the values have shown okay so the next thing now is for you to come to uh, edit and then show class value now the class value and then the reference so with these two now you can generate your accuracy result report but we are still in a class of zero so now what we do to get rid of this zero class is to click and then come to criteria then you say reference equal to zero or class equal to zero then you select now there are only two classes that show zero okay mm, in other way you can decide to leave it okay but let me delete it because the number one here doesn't have x and y but this one does and uh, i don't think there are other ones that they have zero classes like this and then so without getting rid of these zero classes you will discover that your accuracy result will uh, will not be as accurate as you expect the result to be so you just right click and then you delete selection so now it's all gone so in this now we are ready for our accuracy result so you come to report and then you say accuracy report 